gasping. We've, we've run out of tea bags upstairs. Can you pass me some? Hurry up. I don't like standing around the cafe. I'm a wince yet. Somebody left the freezer door open. Well, don't look at me. I may not be in the first flush of youth, but my mind is sharp as a tack. Well, it certainly wasn't me. Well, then it must have been Anna. She's not the brain of Britain at the best of times. Well, the place is a mess. All this food will be ruined. All right, I will help you in a minute, but I'm not compass mentis till I've had my morning cuppa. Thank you. Right. Might as well make a start. <sighs> it's the waiting. That's the worst part. Yeah. Why don't you go on, babe? Try and get some sleep. Any news? How is he? Unfortunately, he's not so good this morning. His condition worsened overnight. Well, um, what does that mean exactly? I'm afraid we'll need to operate. I'm going to call the surgeon and he'll talk you through the procedure, give you a chance to ask any questions, and he'll need you to sign the consent forms. Tina? Let me look at you. You're like a woman possessed. You're not heard. I'm in training for the Rio Olympics. Oh, me too. I'm going in for the ball vaulting. Oh. Hey, don't stand on me lovely step. It's a doorstep, Eileen. People will stand on it. It's what it's there for. Do you want a bucket of water over your head? Don't spoil his do. Look at him, not a hair out of place. Anyway, what's wrong with you? You've done a night shift at the cab office, you've not even been to bed, and now this. Go to work. I've never seen you so high, but have you been overdosing on the E numbers again? <laughs> Takes me back, does that? My nan scrubbing a step fits a burst. It's a competitive sport where I'm from. Did he just say I reminded him of his nan? He did. He's in big trouble, Deirdre. She's channeling the spirit of Anthea Turner. She's not dead, is she? Do you know, I've got a cardigan identical to one of hers. See ya, you old scrubber. <laughs> What's taking us along? Let's get off a case, will you? She's only got to sign a few forms. How is he? He's got to have the op. Oh, no, the poor little soul. Well, where's Tina? Signing consent forms. Right. So when's he got to have the operation? This morning. Soon as. He'll come through it. The Armstrongs are made of tough stuff. Hey, and the windowses, if you don't mind. So, so you did it then? Yeah. What took you so long? Well, I wanted to read it carefully. I need to know what I'm agreeing to. Well, it's not like we've got a choice, is it? It's just the man. Just the man I was thinking about. You're thinking about you when you were, like, wrongfully accused. What? Mm, just go to show you. The police don't always get it right, do they? Mm? No, I don't suppose they just need to. They made up their mind that she's done it. So as far as they're concerned, that is the end of it. Trouble is, it it does look sort of bad, doesn't it? Yeah, well, it's just like it did for you. It's exactly the same thing. If the truth it came out in the end, didn't it? And that's what I've got to do for Sinisa. I've got to uncover the truth. Because the police, they don't want to do a damn thing. So just like you, it's all, all down to me. So one pound twenty, please. Take it away. I don't blame you. I should have been there for him, sorry. Oh, baby, he didn't know the difference. Yeah, well, it could have been for the last time, could it? Oh, you stop tormenting yourself. You can't think like that. <sighs> but I can't stand it. I mean, <laughs> signing those consent forms. I know. It must have been so hard. It felt like I was signing. He's death warrant. Yeah. Yeah. Here we are, young man. Thank you very much. Oh, this is ridiculous. I've got no elbow room. And who's going to eat all this? Customers. I'd rather give it away than throw it in the bin. Let me get this straight. 
You are thinking of giving all this food away, thereby removing the need for anyone to purchase anything? On this occasion, yes. I see. So we're a charity now. Are we working for the fun of it? I can't bear to waste good food. I think that we should sell what we can, and then when it gets to, what shall we say, half past four, then and only then we give it away. Hmm? What's going on here? You having a bake-off? Come on, Liam, choose a cake. Can I attempt to to a sausage roll? Oh, not for me, thanks, Sylvia. I've not long had lunch. Oh. What about the little lamb? Hmm? Hmm? That one. Oh. Uh, that one, please. That one now. Oh, <laughs> my cheeky monkey. <laughs> Listen, seeing as we both got the day off, yeah. well, why don't we swerve this wedding reception and go off somewhere? Where? Formby Beach. We could feed the red squirrels. Come on, Liam would love it. Do you not want to go to the reception? I'm not fast. Just fancy to change the scenery, that's all. Well, I've had my best dress clean now. Oh, well. Forgive me for trying to be spontaneous. You can be as spontaneous as you like once you get me home. Eh? Go on, I'll catch you up. I want to have a quick word with Sean. Oh. Before you start, I didn't go blabbing about the wedding on purpose. I already dragged it out of me. That match sticks down the fingernails again, was it? I was in there having a haircut. She said, is it a special occasion? Yada, yada, yada. Y you didn't need to tell her. I'm not lying to cover your back. I'm not asking you to lie, just to keep your big gob shut for once. I'll tell you what, instead of blaming me, why don't you take a long, hard look at yourself? Is this how you live your life now, is it? Huh? A fade to phrase your friends because they won't know who you are anymore? It's not like that. It must be very cold, dark and lonely back in that closet of yours. <laughs> You know, you don't have to wait here. We can let you know when something happens. I mean, when we get to your call. That's it, love. One thing passes. Derek, will you stop it? Constant tapping on the table. All right, I'm sorry. He's doing me head in. All right, look, I think everyone's just getting a little bit stressed, aren't they? Time to put my blue top through the wash. Oh, you should have texted me. I'd have done it for you. Oh, well, I was thinking about wearing it tonight. Mm. Don't you think it's a bit boring? It's not boring. It's classy. You can't go wrong with the Peter Pan collar. <laughs> all leg of mutton sleeve. Oh, my mum used to swear by them. Well, yeah, but what about all that new stuff you bought the other day? I'm not sure about it, Sophie. I've been thinking, and I think smart casual, you know, slacks and a little top and maybe a hoop earring. How you remember Sean's top tips? Well, if he's such an expert, how come he's still single? Um, hemorrhoid cream, sort out your eye bags. A dab of perfume on your decolletage. On your what? Keep the conversation light, entertaining. Why don't I just make one of my socks into a glove puppet? <laughs> You're seriously weird. Or I could go the whole hog and do the dance of the seven veils. Oh, I'm sorry I ever agreed to this now. My nerves are shot. Right, I tell you what, what about if we come with you, eh? Keep an eye out. Sophie, I'm a grown woman. I don't need a chaperone. Yeah, I well, know, but we could sit on the other side of the pub, pretend we're not even with you. Good idea. And then if you don't like him, you can give us a signal and we'll come and rescue you. Hello. I'd like to book a taxi. Congratulations. You've come to the right place. Um, where would you like to go? Into town. Base four cars. Hang on a minute. I'm not being funny, but I wasn't very keen on the fella who drove me last night. Who was it? I don't know, but his trousers had seen better days. Ah, mad, mad Eric. Eric. I thought he'd sorted out his personal hygiene problem. Bought him a bottle of Old Spice myself. No, no, nothing like that. It was just every time he turned a corner, the car made this horrible banging noise. Ah, there's nothing to worry about there. It sounded like he got somebody locked in the boot. Oh, now she tells us. Now, how his wheel bearings had gone. Don't worry about it. Tyrone has sorted it out. Oh, well. That's a relief, anyway. I'm going to picture myself on Crime Watch doing one of these reenactments. Noisy beggars, wheel bearings. Right. Oh, and uh, by the way, it's nice to see you sitting there for a change. Mm, well, thank you, Deirdre. How do you mean? Well, you're a right couple of slave drivers, you two. Poor Eileen had worked all day, then you had her doing the night shift as well. She offered. You were here. You heard her. Yeah, I know, but you could have said no. It's not good for a woman her age, working like a dog. I dare you to say that to her face. All I'm saying is I'm worried about her. She's going to work herself into an early grave. Nah. Built like a tank, Eileen. Oh, charming. No, unstoppable is what I mean. You know, um, a force to be reckoned with. I'll just get that cat I mean, she'd be working flat out, and there she was, scrubbing the step like there was no tomorrow, and she seemed all kind of... Pent up and anxious, I don't know. 
Base to all cars, come quick. How'd it go? How is it? It went well. The necrotizing enterocolitis was affecting just one short piece of the intestine, which we've removed. Okay, what? Well, is he out of danger? That's all I need to know. Well, he's obviously still quite poorly. We're helping him with his breathing, and we'll be keeping him on the blood pressure medicine. But now we've removed the affected piece of the intestine, he should start getting better. <sighs> we've every reason to be optimistic. Not optimistic, eh? That's good enough for me. Can we see him? Please. Yeah, of course, come. Congratulations. Thanks. Congratulations. Yeah, I do love a happy ending. Where's my man-sized box of Kleenex? And how are you? Yeah, good, thank you. Yeah, you're looking perfect. You had some work done. <laughs> you look nice. I like it when your hair's a bit wiggy. Thanks. I think. Marcus, this is... Oh, uh, the lovely Maria. Um, we're just going to get a drink, actually, from different parts. Who's that? Don't ask. What? Sorry. The lovely Maria. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> look at this. A veritable feast. A cornucopia. Yes, well, help yourself. Oh, free and gratis. Free as the defrosted. I don't like waste. That's my tea sorted then. <laughs> I'm missing the ministrations of my good lady, you know. Oh, dear. Uh, Julie usually does all the cooking, but she's uh, looking after her mum. <laughs> I've got a um, calico bag in my pocket. Help yourself, he said. Nothing serious, I hope. Uh, oh, she's a victim of uh, dancing on ice. Uh, attempted a swing roll whilst doing her uh, freestyle. Mm -hmm. Fellow one broke her hip. God had meant her so I skate, it would have given us blades instead of feet. I entirely agree. Heaven knows how much money we have squandered today. There's nothing to be done, Mother. Anna Windass needs telling. More to the point, she needs penalising. For the umpteenth time, we can't be completely certain that it was her who left the freezer open. So it wasn't you, it wasn't me, it wasn't her. Who do you think it was? We Willy Winky? I can't abide you when you're facetious. Bye, thanks. Oh, mind you, don't break a hip. Well, you could keel over. Knees buckling beneath the weight of all those free pastries. Can I help you? You have been very peculiar lately. Short-tempered, absent-minded, downright odd, even by your standards. I didn't know what to say to him. I'm still obsessed with proving that Senator didn't do it. Well, it's a distraction, that's what he needs. I've offered to play a few rounds of golf, but he's not keen. See, that says a lot, you know, because he you normally know loves his golf. <laughs> I know, but those cacks are enough to send anyone over the edge. Paintballing wouldn't be a good idea. <laughs> Seriously? Yeah, I don't take his mind off it running round, you know, working up a sweat. No, I can't see it, not that. <laughs> right, and lads night in. So out of curry, a few DVDs, have a laugh. No, mate, it's too full on. I'm telling you, his head is wrecked. I've always fancied to go on one of them uh, segways. No, no, I fell off a segway, did my knee in. It's never been the same again. How about renting a Lamborghini? A little bit of speed. That'd be a great idea, that though, yeah, until he drives it into a canal. <laughs> Still, there's a woman. She'll know what to do. I don't think you need to do anything. Really? He's in a terrible state. He's just see sense. Well, I suppose it's just being there for him, isn't it? Listening and reassuring that he's not alone. Oh, listening. I still fancy paintballing. Trailer the chase and all that. Oh, I am so glad he's got you looking out for him. You know, I just thought you and Marcus were good together. Funny you should say that. So did I. Oh, hello. I smell gossip. Swab. I'm sworn to secrecy. Oh, he didn't cheat on you, did he? He's not the type. Oh, you'd be surprised what Marcus is capable of. Very surprised. You big tease. You're going to spill or what? You know me. Discretion is my middle name. Well, whoever he went off with, it clearly didn't last. It's obvious he's on the pull. Nobody could ever mistake you for being a body language expert. <laughs> what do you mean? 
Well, he's not so much flirty as he is shifty. Something's going on here. Is it my imagination or is Marcus Dent trying to avoid us? Why would he want to do that? Don't look at me. You want to dig for dirt? Ask him. There you go, lads. On the house. By way of an apology. Cheers. But I know you're watching Dev's back. He's your mate. Fair play to you, but... I'm seriously worried about him. And on art. Do you think Sunita did it? it? Certainly looks that way, yeah. All the evidence points to her, no denying it. Yeah. Hey, poor fella just can't cope with the truth, so he keeps making up these mad conspiracy theories. I mean, I've, I've not been able to sleep since it happened. Most understandable. Worst night of my life. Thought I was a dead man. It's been terrible. Yeah, well, I just keep it all bottled up, but that's me. Dev's different, you know, he can't stop talking about it, but every time we humour him. We don't humour him. Who's this Dev? I agree with Carlo. No contradicting, do we? Well, exactly. I mean, we play along with his mad ideas. We don't want to upset him, but we're not doing him any favours. What do you mean? Oh, well, no, I've said enough. No, 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 go on. Well, grief is a terrible thing. And I feel bad about saying this, but... I think Dev is not in his right mind. Well, you think he's depressed? It's understandable, all that he's been through. No, 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 he's gone way beyond that. I really do think that he's losing the plot. I'm the one who should be with him. Me, his mother. I'm the one who he needs. I know him better than anyone. Well, that's why he needs to spend more time with Gary and Izzy. I mean, we've got a lot of catching up to do. feeling lost without me, Tommy. Tina. Tommy, he knows my voice. I mean, what if he's threatened without me, eh? You know, it's cruel. It's cruel to keep me away. It's cruel to me and it's cruel to the baby. But I'm going out some fresh air. Right, well, I'll come with you. No. Tina, will you talk to me, please? Look, I know you're trying to be kind, but forget it, OK? You haven't got a clue. D well, explain it to me, then. Make me understand. I have messed up, haven't I? I am totally out of my depth. And I and I have no idea what I'm going to do about it. Oh, I'm having second thoughts about my smoky eyes. Don't you look gorgeous. You don't think they're too much? Oh, Mum, get a grip. Come on. <laughs> oh, I shouldn't have said the rovers. It's a bit close to home. No, that's a good thing. He's horrible. You can lug it back in two minutes. What, <laughs> running these heels? <laughs> right, Mum, all you need to do is just go in here, get a wind down your neck, and you'll be fine. Hey, we haven't got a signal yet in case I need you to rescue me. Uh, I don't know, scratch her head or something. Oh, you think she's got lice? <laughs> well, I could always go to the jukebox and put a song on. How about that 60s song, um, Rescue Me? Or Help by the Beatles? Help. Or a text would just be fine. Good idea. Do you know what? I'll send him to the bar for some crisps and I'll just text you. Will you just stop worrying, Mum? This is meant to be fun. Go on. <laughs> Hello. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, uh, I've made you some tea. Oh, you're a star. What is it? Well, <laughs> it's a kind of casserole type thing. I'll just use what was left over in the fridge. Half oh, of that stuff in there is older than I am, Paul. Hold on. Oh. Hi, Deirdre. Hi, yeah. It's for you. Hi, love. Hi, yeah. Uh, I was just wondering if you fancy coming round for your tea. Oh, thanks, love, but Master Chef here has just cremated me some vegetables. I nearly got housemaid's elbow chopping those parsnips, thank you. Wait, 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 why don't you stay, eh? Don't worry, I've got the pizza place on speed down. Oh, that's gratitude for you, isn't it? Right, be good. Hey, look, just be careful, yeah? As always. See you later, Deirdre. Right, I'm going to crack open a bottle. What do you want, red or white? Oh, it's a bit early, even for me. Deirdre Barlow, are you a man or a mouse? OK, I'll have red. Good. <clears throat> Oh, fallen out. What? Well, your selfie sat over there and you're on your lonesome. No, no, we're fine. All oh, right. Give me some space, that's it. Oh, give me some space. Stop crowding me. That's our Eva to a tea. Uh, another white wine when you've got a minute. Yeah. You 
You can run, but you can't hide, baby. Go away, Sean. Boy, I haven't seen you doing your disco diva. Oh, maybe after another ten of these, eh? You haven't had a chance to touch your afternoon. So how's it going? Work OK? I'm good, yeah. More importantly, how's your love life? <laughs> Utterly fascinating. <laughs> Can't complain. Listen, I'm just gonna nip to the loop. You know Mike Grover is here. He's always had a soft spot for you. Ah, oh, well, call me picky, but I prefer some on the teeth. <laughs> <laughs> Word to the wise: You're never gonna pull if you've got your wingman with you. Your new BFF. Exactly. You don't want people assuming you're straight. <laughs> <laughs> so, how long have you two been friends? Ah, oh, I don't know. Uh, a while. I love this. Do you want to dance? So, did you meet at work or what? Uh, no, we share a flat. Because we are together. Finally! Oh, together, together? <laughs> Never. I love him. I love him like you wouldn't believe. I'm telling you, Tommy, I'm going to do if I lose him. That's the whole point, I mean... It's not yours to lose. Yes, I know that. In my head, I know that. Of course I do. I'm not thick. But my heart... My heart is telling me something else, OK? You feel for him. I mean, we all do. He's been through a lot. It's more than that. It's much more. Like, today, when I thought he might die, that's when it hit me. How am I going to part with him? How could I cope with that? Tina, listen to yourself. I mean, what are you trying to say? I don't think I can hand him over. Tina, will you talk to me? What do you think I'm doing? Singing? I don't know what you're saying. Or do you want to... I, do, I don't know. I... I don't know what I'm saying either. Do you want to keep it? Right, he's not an it, OK? I don't know. I don't know anything anymore. I certainly wouldn't trust the stuff that's coming out of my mouth. I don't know who I am anymore. Don't say that. Why not? Is it truth? Oh, I bet you the player you raised me up. <laughs> and I want to say thank you. Thank you for taking me on. No, take on me, aha. And becoming my husband on this, well, wonderful day. <laughs> See, guys, the fight was worth it in the end. We got equality! <laughs> No, fight for this love, Cheryl Curl. And now, I'd like to ask Andy to have the first dance with me to our very special song. I love you, sweetheart. Oh. To us. Ah, oh, it's Tracy Ullman, they don't know. I love this one. Oh, good God, could this get any more cheesy? Do you want to make a move, sir? You can't go now. The party's only just begun. What's up? You ashamed to be seen with me? No, of course not. I wouldn't have told them about us otherwise. See? They do know about I'm us. I'm going to loop. <laughs> this whole thing's a mess. I'm sorry, Tommy. It's not what you need. What do you do? <sighs> I went into this thinking and I'm doing something good. It's not my fault. I'm an idiot. Look, we wouldn't be sorry if it weren't for my money problems. If only money was the answer to our prayers now. A fat chance. Hey, help. What's your duty here? Just out big grins. Hiya. <laughs> hey, um, you all right? Just tired, you know? Listen, we're just off to the canteen to see Izzy. Do you want anything, love? No, no. Tommy? Oh, you poor thing. This must be hard for you and all, you know. I'm fine, Anna. Just wish we could say the same for that little man in there. 
Oh, I like a nice red. In fact, I think you could say red is my favourite colour. Say when. When? <laughs> oh, the woman after me or not. Right. Down the hatch and make me giddy. Oh. You're knocking it back a bit, Eileen. Who was that pop band? Pop band? Who said they wanted to be comfortably numb? No, oh, Kate Bush. She's not a band. That's what I need, Deirdre. Oh, I need to just stop worrying about everything. Stop. Right. Right. What do you need to start worrying about? Life, Deirdre. Just life. Do you know, when I die and I get to the pearly gates and thingy, ask me to sum my life up in one word, I shall just say, disappointed. Mm. Disappointed with an undercurrent of fear. Oh, what are you frightened of? Life's frightening at the best of times, and then there's always some problem that comes, just slaps you around the face. Anyway, let's just get hammered and forget all about it. Hey, <laughs> tell me about it. You want to try walking in my shoes? Well, they're not comfy. <laughs> well, my Paul would never stray. Mm. He's a one man woman. Oh, that's lovely. Mm. Although, didn't he live with you and his wife for a bit? I'm sorry. That was below the belt. You wear a lot of belts, Deirdre. Where do you get them? Oh, all over. Oh, they tell many stories, my belts. Talking accessories. <laughs> Who'd have thought? <laughs> Actually, I got this one online. Really good place to buy belts. I can send you the links if you like. No, you're all right. Oh, OK. She's texting. Oh, well, I hope she's not coming over too needy. It's not that late. Oh, no, she's texting me. Oh, what's it say? This is not embarrassing at all. <laughs> you will be fine, Mum. She's not reading that book convincingly. She says she'd be reading a book, so he recognised her. <laughs> it's an audition. Oh, she looks really nice. No, bless her. I'm dead nervous. It's all going to be fine. He'll be here any minute. He'll be dead nice, and then we can just slip away quietly. Yeah, looking nice, Sal. Oh. Oh, he's brought flowers. Oh, he looks really different. Yeah, it looks better looking than his profile picture. Hi. Oh, hi. <laughs> How are you? I'm OK. Oh, good. You look lovely. Thank you. Oh, thanks for the flower. I wonder you look different. Gorgeous. You all right? I just feel like everyone's talking about us. No, it's better to be talked about than not. You reckon? Oh, come on, let's just stay for one last drink. Believe me, no one is gossiping about us. We're just not that interesting to them. So let me get this straight. Straight being the operative word. Marcus and... Maria. Are sleeping together. It's not just sleeping together. Why does everything have to be about sex? Why do you think? So, is it because you want kids? Uh, no, believe it or not, it's because I fell in love with her. Well, that is the most ridiculous thing I've ever heard in my life. What? So love's ridiculous, is it? Because we've just listened to you two banging on about how much you love each other. Yeah, we didn't take the mick out yet. I don't think you understand, Maria. I don't patronise her. You don't just stop being gay. Or oh, what, have you been to see one of those happy, clappy cure people? Happen, it's just a midlife crisis. Sean! I haven't stopped anything. I've fallen in love with a woman, I'm still a gay man. Have you heard yourself? This is a wind-up, right? Is this a wind-up? No! Say that again! I'm a gay man who's fallen in love with a woman. Even she can't get her head round it, says a lot. This is just too bizarre for words. Oh, says the man who's got every episode of Dad's Army on DVD. We went marching against Clause 28 with the youth group. You helped me come out. You helped me tell my mum and dad. Yeah, and what did you tell them, eh? You said you can't help who you fall in love with. So you know, sneer all you like. I'm not sneering. I am gobsmacked. I don't need to listen to this. Come on. Hey, Rita. Hey, any news? Well, the operation seems to go as well as I wanted, so. Oh, thank goodness for that. Uh, are you okay? You must be all over the place. Should we go in? Whatever's appropriate. She wants to keep the baby. What? You're joking. 
Oh, Tommy. <sighs> She's dead confused. Her, her head must be chocker, but I don't know what to do. Well, it sounds as if I've arrived just in time. Uh, no, can I have a moment with her? Uh, I'll get us a brew. Tommy? I asked him if we could have a minute. Oh. He's just told me what you said about keeping him. No, oh, he's got a gob on him. He's only told me. And he's only told me because he's worried about you. He's beautiful. I can see that. And I can see why you might be confused, especially after the operation. You're in a very difficult position. It's got nothing to do with the operation. I felt it the second he was born. Tina, that baby is not yours to keep. Biologically, he is not your son. But you don't know how it feels until you've had a baby. Oh, well, I'll take your word for that then, shall I? Oh, not really. Rita, I'm sorry. Look, I always thought I was the least maternal person in the world. Now look at me. Listen, what happens with Rita stays with Rita. Okay. Yeah. Hey, but we haven't finished our conversation. I know. Mm -hmm. Thanks for coming. Hiya. Oh, got us all the brew. Oh, um, Rita needs to go. Owen's in there. Bit awkward. Right, I see. I'll see you. Okay. Right. Right. So, um, what did she say? She said he's not mine. She's gone. Uh, it's for you. What's this? The, the final installment. I feel like a prostitute. Tina. Is... Well, that's what it is, though, isn't it? I've, I'm, I've prostituted no, my womb. No, you're probably just a bit knackered, yeah. There's nothing sordid or wrong about what you've done. Yeah? So, uh, well, I guess all we've got to do now is... is um, for you to sign the baby over to Gary and Izzy. Mate, do you mind if we have a bit of time on our own? Sure. Yeah. I'm selling it. I'm selling my baby. I might as well stick him on eBay. Tina, it's... Well, that's what it is, though, isn't it? I mean, that's how he's going to see it when he's older. Oh, it's not like that. I mean, my dad actually sold me. Yeah, exactly. And you hate his guts ever since. Um... The consultant's asking to see us. What is it? Is it all right? I don't know. I don't know. So, how was the wedding? Simple partnership. <clears throat> it's all right. We only went to the reception. A bit of an early one, isn't it? I thought you'd be dancing till dawn, mate. But you also love to dance, don't you? Oh. Do you know what? I think my dancing days are done. <laughs> Liar. Uh, that's 480, please. So, come on, how was the wedding? Was it lovely? Did they both look really handsome? It was all right. Oh, dear. Oh, come on. Can we at least try and enjoy the rest of the evening? Do you know what? It's all slipping into place now. What is? Why you never told me about the reception in the first place? Why you tried to talk me out of going? Uh, it's going to be a change. Look, why don't we go outside and have a breath of fresh air, yeah? I can't wait to see the photos and that. Mm. Could you say that? Say what? Say you're gay. I am! But it completely undermines our relationship. Marcus, it makes it look like I'm some sort of fad. Some new diet that you're trying out that you're going to get fed oh, up of. Oh, you've just been stupid now. But how long did you last on the Atkins? <sighs> Two weeks. Exactly. You said you wanted to see us. Um, is something wrong? Nope, nothing's wrong. I just want to update you on how Jake's getting on. All right. <laughs> I'm happy with how he's been today. We've had no problem since he's been back from theatre. He's nice and stable. He might still need some help with his breathing and blood pressure, but on the whole, I'm happy. Oh, God. Thank God for that. <laughs> now, if all goes well, we should be able to get him off the medicines and ventilator in two or three days. And maybe a few days after that, we can think about feeds. Right. So, it's good news. Yes. 
It's great. I have never been so embarrassed in all my life. And that includes going out with your sister in some of her more revealing outfits. <laughs> I wonder who's at the door. I don't know. I'm sure we'll find out soon enough. I can hardly bear the excitement. Well, are you expecting anybody? I don't know anymore. I'm just a, a sad old spinster. It's a, a chronic condition. Maybe it's your date. I didn't give him my address. I don't think. What a visitor. Oh, uh, hi, Dev. Uh, would you like a drink? Yes, I'd love some of that wine, please, Sally. Thank you. Uh, Jenna, could you get Dev a, a drink? Sure. <laughs> Have a seat. Oh, thank you. How can we help you? So you were the last person to see Sunita alive, yes? It's just that I need to know. You need to know what? Well, if there's anything that you're not telling the police. Well, why would I hold anything back? Of course I've told the police everything. So when she ran past you from the bistro, was she upset? Dev. Hmm? Hmm? She was upset or was she angry? Well, she was upset. And you just let her go? What should I have done to stop her? I didn't know what was going to happen. Def, that fire was not my fault. Yes, but if she was upset, then you would surely have... But I just... I just thought that you'd had a, a row. Dev, you're upsetting her. Am I? I thought that you was getting back together and I just assumed... What, that, that we'd had a row? Yeah. But we hadn't. Not then. It's like we're from different planets. Women are from Mars, gays are from Venus. Do you think this has ever happened to anyone else before? Well, of course it had. All right. Have you heard that song, Sing If You're Glad To Be Gay? It's by this bloke, Tom Robinson. All right, singer, great gay. But then he met this woman and he fell in love with her. And the gay community went mad. He was like this, I don't know, figurehead. And what, all of a sudden he was going straight? Takes complicated to a whole new level. Yeah, but he continued to identify as a gay man who'd fallen in love with a woman. Well, I don't care. I want you to say that you're straight. <laughs> Who cares about labels? I don't even care about designer labels. You can't laugh your way out of this one, oh. Marcus, because you do care. You care about being gay. I think we should go and get Liam. You go. I'm going to stop here and have another drink with Audrey, my fabulous straight friend. just commune with nature for a bit and then he'll go home. I think he'll have realised he's embarrassed himself. Well, shall I put some music on? Yeah, but nothing too party-like. We don't want to encourage him to stay. No. Put Adele on. OK. <laughs> Hi, Dev. Yes, uh, much better, thank you. And I'm sorry about that, you really. No, it's all right. We understand. And just remember, You've not embarrassed yourself. Thank you. Is that a...? Yeah, it's Adele. Isn't she miserable? I'm sorry, it's just uh, Sunita. She, she loved this song. Oh, Jenna, could you...? No, 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 please don't. Please don't turn it off. It's, uh, I think it's good for me to hear this. Are you sure about that, Deb? Have you listened to the words? Hmm? And that is how I feel. And she's amazing, isn't she? <laughs> so you're sure you can't remember anything, Sophie? No, Dev. Jenna, turn the music off. Dev, I I'm really sorry. I'm, I, I can't begin to imagine how you must feel, but... I'm going to have to ask you to leave. I, I don't want you upsetting Sophie anymore. I'm so, I'm so sorry. We found love in a hopeless place. We found love in a hopeless place. I like your potpourri in the bathroom. You don't see much potpourri nowadays. <laughs> don't worry, I didn't eat it. Oh, dear. Are you, Paul? No, it's me, Deirdre. 
belts. Sorry. Oh. <sighs> Not one. Shame to waste it. Just goes off otherwise. I shouldn't have said what I said before. I think it I think it was just the stress of the operation. If I don't hand the baby over to Gary and Izzy, what am I gonna do? Be a single mum struggling to cope. Well, so if you uh, remember anything at all, just anything you will tell me, yeah? Yes, Dev. Just uh, anything at all, it's uh, and uh, thank you. Deirdre, not locked out, are you? I'm having a cigarette, if that's all right with you. Of course. She gets more like her mother every day. <laughs> Do you think Gail's like that? Oh, if I own one. You're feeling a bit better now, Puppets. <sighs> what I don't get is, if he still sees himself as a gay man, what is he doing with me? Do you know, Maria, I can't imagine. I mean, you are such a plain Jane. Whatever does he see? <laughs> But now every single man we see, I'm just going to think that he fancies her. Yeah, well, do you know, if he was straight, you'd think he fancied every other woman he saw. So, come on, you knew this wasn't going to be easy, darling. He convinced me it would be. No, Audrey, we have an amazing time, inside and outside the bedroom. Yeah, well, I'm not sure I really need to know that, sweetheart. <laughs> yeah, but now I know that he still sees himself as gay. He's just messing with my head big time. Oh, lovey. You know, love, I've been thinking, you can't pay any attention to Dev. I mean, he's talking a load of nonsense. Look, I know deep down Sunita started the fire. But with Dev going on and on, it's... Oh, I don't know. <sighs> don't even think about it. Don't go there, OK? stuff that you don't really mean. I'm not. I've let you down before, and I won't make that mistake again. So, if you do want to bring him up, you can. And you wouldn't have to do it on your own, not now. Never have to be on your own again. Tommy. We could be a team. Think about it. Can I really do that to Izzy? Well, I, th I think your mind's already made up in it. 100%. Well then. Look, we can do this. From the funny to the clever, from the magical to the totally incredible. One thing they've got in common, amazing talent and it's decision time with the final of Britain's Got Talent tomorrow at 7.30 here on ITV. Next, it's You've Been Framed. <laughs>